<laughs> Big Moon, live in the trenches. Yo, look, mm. one, two, five is skidding. Don't say we don't touch no women. He got caught up in the past as a victim. Can't talk to the dogs and the bitch team. Destiny, destiny, wake up. You sleeping? You've been doing your assignment all night or something. Yeah. So long. Which subject? Half of social studies. When's it in for? Next week. I haven't even started mine yet. I need to get to now. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, one second. Kyle dot school now. Hey. Yo. You okay, Ben? What are you doing with that tough one? I said, what are you doing with that tough one? Especially in Cod's house, bear man. Oh, I'm moving now. Oh, you're taking me for a dickhead, innit? You know what I'm saying, bear man? Don't score around Cuddy's dress like that, making you look stupid, you know? Shut up, Kakeem. Look, it's covered up now. It's calm, innit? Alright, whatever destiny. Stop me going around making my boy look dumb, innit? Just get off the phone, Akeem. I'm talking to Mari. Look, Mari, I've got to go back to my class in a minute, but I'm not with man. I love you. Mari? Look, I'll call you when I'm in ends, okay? Take make sure, honey. Hi. Are you gonna snap? Yeah, you wanna get in it? Okay, I'm good. Yo! What? What are you doing? What are you gonna cover? It's warm out, sorry. Stop being stupid. I told you, buddy, you can't trust these hoes. <laughs> anyway, where are you going? You might as well get in the car, man. No, it's alright. I'm going to the hair shop. I'll link it after. Yo, get in the car, man. Get in the car, man. Am I a dickhead? <laughs> Daniel, please. Please. <laughs> you're lucky you're not. I swear it down. You do that again and I'll knock you out. Stupid bitch. And I'll knock you out. Stupid bitch. Listen, don't speak to her like that. It's a bit disrespectful. Oh, no, really. oh, who the hell are you? What is that? It's my friend. She's in my class at college. Well, anyway, get in the car, man. Listen, come over here, Rizzo. Listen, I'm just going to get in the bush, you know. What? Why? What about the hair shop? Look, he just needs a spliff and he'll calm down. Well, he shouldn't need weed to make him feel calm and I'm going to go and explore anyway. Okay. Well, be careful, because you know what these ends are like, if you know what I mean. Okay, I will be. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Yo! How are you up, man? So how long have you and Kyle not been together? Oh long, you know, since school days. <laughs> they ain't ever splitting up. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I can hook you up with my Kyle Dot's friends if you want. <laughs> nah, not even. I was asking because I was wondering if he always speaks to you like that. Like what? Like talking about um, what clothes you're wearing and, and, and where you're going and that kind of stuff. Nah. He's not like that, is he, Aliyah? I swear, Akeem is worse than K Dot. It's just how they are. Yeah. It's all love. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Anyway, how are you, Rene and, and Alia? Good, Good thanks. thanks. Rene? 
You're still with age yet, boy? Mom, why are you asking all that for? I've warned these girls about the boys and they don't want to listen. Destiny, you know I want the best for you. It's all I want, you know what your dad put me through. Stop comparing me and Kaido to you and Dad. Kaido has never put his hands on me. <sighs> Destiny, I just want the best for you. I want the best for all of you girls. I really just want the best. Why is your mum always commenting on relationships? Oh no. It's so annoying. Trust me. Nah, it sounds like she's been through a lot and she's not going to want her daughter to go through the same thing, is she? Look, Renee, you don't know shit about me and my mum's allow it. Look, I've been through a lot and I know you don't know me that well, but I know what I'm talking about. Renee, I get where you're coming from, but Destiny and Kayla are not like that. Kaido would never put his hands on Destiny. Yo. Stop the subliminal. Girl, I'm trying to message you. When I see you lie on my world, I'll do the best for you. I need some loving though. Niggas' hearts been fucked up. I put my wall so high, it's hard to trust one. Oh, come on. This time is motion. Why are we eating, fam? I'm hungry, fam. Yeah, always I always shut your mouth, fam. I'm hungry. <laughs> Bro, oh, this girl always wants a long thing, man. Nah, I'll tell you what she's doing. She's in my snap. Yeah. Right, one sec, one sec. Right, yeah, I'm looking at that. My snap. <laughs> Yo, in her pride. Yeah. She's, she's there, you know. And she's looking sweet, fam. I might take her on a date or something. Are you taking a piss, bro? <laughs> nah, I'm joking, man. You taking a piss, fam. Oh, you fuck. You mad. You mad. Yo, yo, chill, 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 chill. Relax, 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 relax. relax. You're, thinking, you're wasting too much time, yeah? On this one dead thing. What you need to do is check out some of these snap you get me? All of them. All of them. You get me? Look at them, man. Nah, it's always these girls, man. You know what? Fuck. Well, Akeem. Yo, come. I ain't a bit flower boy, <sighs> say. Oh, nah, I respect, man. I respect. You violated, though. I know, but still. <laughs> hey, you know who it is. Come on, listen in. Brr. Hey, come on. Brr. 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 Don't get caught in a mix up. Tell him fix up here about it. Fix his comments, Juno Martin. You going to the party on Friday? Yeah, but when I was there, do man, look at them. Yeah, they're a mess still. <laughs> is that Kim and Kada? What? Oh, Destiny, I'm gonna get off, you know. Okay. Text me when you got home. I will. See you later. See ya. Bye, Renee. Bye, Leah. Yeah. Be your girl left me. Okay. So, why can't I see phone? Because it's on the speaker. You're moving mad, don't you think? Shut up and stop deep in it. Oh, I already told you, no one's going to want you, especially the way you're moving. Bro, this is a lot bitch. I already told ya. Bro, no one's gonna what? Oh, oh, keep pushing me though. Trust me, keep pushing me. Sorry, I just came to get my AirPods. Destiny, are you okay? Yeah, just a bit hay fever. Hay fever? Yeah. October. Oh, maybe it's just eyelash glue. Whoa, why are you doing dress like that? What do you mean? It's 30 degrees outside. You're not going outside like that. Yeah, I'll try this one. Hey, that fire is mad, mate. Bro, do you see it? Oh, yeah, wait, really? it has to be loose. I'm not going to do it. Come on, dude. Come on, dude.
Yo, so where you been, man? Oh, to the shop. I oh, bumped into my friend. Went to the shop? Well, it took me 20 minutes to go to the shop. You are taking a piss out of me. You fucking got slapped, bro. What the fuck you mean, bro? Tell you to you, bro. You man in it. I bumped into my friend. Don't lie. You fucking with man. You got a fucking slag, bro. See you, bro. You're always lying, bro. No one's gonna want you, you know. You're lucky I'm with you, you know. Look at you, fam. You are ugly. You are a mess. I don't know I'm with you, fam. Why the fuck are you with you anyway? If anyone want you, fam. Look at you. You're a trap, bro. Well, that's what you know. Look at man in it with your friends. You're a whole blood. Piss me off, fam. Fucking ugly rat, bro. Go Destiny single. Yes, <laughs> finally. Out of that toxic shit. Yeah, honestly. She doesn't need a man. I don't need a man. We don't need men. No, we don't. Hot Independent girl women. Yes. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hi everyone. So I'm just gonna tell you today as a domestic abuse survivor some red flags and I'm also gonna give you a bit of advice as well um so there is many red flags when you are in an abusive relationship unfortunately so i'm not going to go through all of them but i'm going to give you ones that i think are really important like the main ones so i'd say first of all eggshells now if you feel like you are stepping on eggshells around someone that you're with so for example you're not feeling comfortable you don't feel like you can say certain stuff around them without getting a reaction like making them feel like they want to argue with you or go mad at you or like you don't feel comfortable around them in general then that's not good you should feel comfortable around your partner that you're with so number two now when you are in a relationship i understand that there is boundaries but you are still your own person which means you are still entitled to have your own life, you are still entitled to see your friends, you are still entitled to have to go to work, you're still entitled to have a social life. And yes, you don't go out and cheat, but you're allowed to still go out. Now, if you feel like this person is telling you that you can and can't do this, you can't wear this, or, you know, trying to... Not even... Some people that are actually controlling don't actually say it in that way as well. That's another thing to point out. Like, some people will say, oh... So, let me give you an example. Like, you could have a dress on and they could look at you and there could be nothing wrong with the dress, but they could be like, oh, don't you think that dress looks a bit funny? And, like, literally, like, make you think that the dress looks funny. When I was 17 years old, um, actually I was 16, not 17, I got into a relationship with um, a very abusive man. I thought that he wasn't like that, but he shocked me. And I think what a lot of people don't realise when you get in an abusive relationship, they always start off by like a term called love bombing. So like he treated me like a princess, he'll buy me gifts, make me feel loved and then eventually um, start abusing me. He slowly isolated me away from my friends and my family. I moved in with him. He stopped me from wearing makeup. He stopped me from dressing how I wanted to. And I know it sounds silly saying he's told me to do this, but I allowed it because I was so in love with him and I didn't know my worth. So I thought that he was the only person for me and that I couldn't do anything without him, I couldn't live without him because that's how much he had control over me and manipulated me. Um, I was with him for a long time and then I think it was basically having my son that made me come out of it. I realised that I love my son more than I love him. Um, and like throughout the relationship he would be violent towards me. As I said he isolated me from so many things. I stopped being myself, I stopped doing everything that I love, slowly lost my personality. I got um, stabbed because of him. Um, he just wasn't a nice person at all. And then um, I had my son and I gradually like got my confidence back and started doing acting again, started doing everything that I love. And I'd say where I am today is like a massive improvement to where I was when I was with him because I was so vulnerable and I think he preyed on that. Did any of you 
friends know that that was happening? Yeah, um, they knew and they warned me. But I like, I feel like it's hard when you're in an abusive relationship because as much as your friends say leave, you're the only person that can leave. And so like, as I had friends and then he would just get them away from me completely. He will make up rumours to try and turn me against my friends. He called my friends, like, oh, you're a lesbian, like, stay away from her at one point. Um, he got violent to my friends at one point. Like, it just got to the point where I literally had no one and I couldn't do anything. Yeah, so it was really bad. <laughs> but, um, like, today, everything he told me I couldn't do, I done. And, you know, I'm, I'm proud of myself for that, he told me. <laughs> So like, he told me that I can't be, like he knows that um, I want to be a nurse. He told me that I couldn't go to uni. I'm at uni studying health and social science. He told me I couldn't do acting. I'm a prof professional actress. I've been spotlight registered. Um, I'm going to be in the cinemas. Like, I've got a movie coming out next month. Like, <laughs> so like everything that, and I'll just say that like, as much as someone tells you you can't do something, that's a reflection of themselves, not you yeah. as a person. Like, everything that he said to me was his own insecurities pushed onto me and everything I've done today. Like, I never, uh, there was a time when I did not believe in myself, I didn't think I could ever do that. Yeah. And like, um, like, there is another side and another way out of it. You never think that at the time, but no one, no one deserves to go through that and no one, should think that they're worth like nothing to allow themselves to be treated like that. I think for me the takeaway, the big takeaway is like just how important it is to like, you know, support your friends when your friends are going through something like um, because um, as she explained, like it's a very isolating experience that perpetrator can um, really manipulate you and coerce you into not having any friends and you won't know why like but you're you're isolated you're on your own knowing where to go as well like you know what i mean like supporting your friends to go and if you can't yeah. manage something it's okay to say to your friend look can we go and talk to like a trusted adult about it someone um either at your college someone here yeah. at cards someone at your but someone in your family that you know, like, you know what I mean? But don't ever feel like you've got to hold anything in on your own to deal with on your own, because there's mm. always going to be um, some form of help mm. out there, even if it's just an ear. Yeah. Sometimes you just need somebody to hear mm. you. So. And acting on the signs from early as well. Yeah. Like, I remember the first time he hit me and it was literally after I moved into his place with him. So like I was scared to go and tell anyone because I thought, oh my God, I look like an idiot, I've just moved in with him. And I think you've got to remove yourself from like thinking, oh, what are people going to think? Because it's not about that, it's about your safety. Yeah, exactly, mm. definitely, definitely. And how um, hard or easy would you say it is to really build back your confidence once somebody has stripped away your confidence and self-esteem? How hard or easy is it to do? It's hard. It's hard. Even like to this day, like I'm in a really healthy relationship. My boyfriend now is nothing like anything like him, and it's like simple things that I do that he won't he won't be nasty to me or he won't argue with me over silly things, and it's like trying to remind myself that not everyone's toxic. 